And we now welcome in Silver Slugger, Nathaniel Lowe. Thanks so much for joining us. How exciting is it to be out there at camp? Thank you. Uh, thanks for having me. But yeah, it's cool. Uh, I got in town yesterday, came in from Texas and get back, up, get back out to the desert. It's great. Uh, you know, it's nice. Uh, good weather, good vibes. Uh, the boys are positive. It's, uh, it's time to get going again. Uh, he is excited. Look at that big smile on your face. Uh, hard not to, you know, you spend all winter away from it and it's time to go to work again. Hey, Nathaniel, it's Harold here. Thanks for joining us. First of all, I really appreciate you doing this. Hey, my question, you had such a big year last year and I could see in the last couple of years, the growth starting to happen and the, and the adjustments along the way. What did you work on this off season as you head to another year here? Uh, you know, I just got to get better on both sides of the ball. Um, the good players in this league dominate both sides and then they're good base runners too. So, you know, we got some room to improve offensively and then with the glove and then just being a, a total player. So took some steps to kind of just keep getting better and, you know, not really press too hard, but make sure that I, I'm, I'm working hard and getting after it. And, you know, it's exciting to come into this clubhouse with this new group. Nathaniel, it's JP. A question for you on your infield, and certainly you welcomed in two superstars last year in, in Corey Seager and Marcus Semien. But with a full spring training, now plenty of weeks to get accustomed, how is that changing the chemistry that you have now entering 2023 with your infield? Um, you know, I felt like we were on a pretty good page last year um, because, you know, Corey, Marcus, myself, and then a couple of different pieces over at third got to play a whole lot of a whole lot of baseball together. I feel like we're uh, we're ready to take the next step as a unit. You know, we're not doing a whole lot of uh, finding each other out. I think we're just going to be able to do a better job of showing up and just playing baseball. Hey, uh, Nathan, I'm, I'm I'm curious. I'm all in on the Rangers. I look at it this way: if you win two out of three in the series, you got a chance to win that. You win that series with your rotation. You can do that basically every series you play. So my question, that's my statement. Now, my question for you is when you started hearing the guys they were signing, bringing in Bochi, you get DeGrom, and you start seeing all these things happen, how'd that make you feel sitting at home? And it's encouraging, you know, um, as on and off the field. You know, if they're going to spend that kind of money on that caliber player, it, it shows that they're committed to bringing that in. And then when you're, we are already in the organization, you got your foot in the door. Like, you know, it's, it's pretty cool to have this opportunity to go out and maximize and hopefully win a lot of baseball games. Were you up. throwing your arm up there going, Hey, I'm ready to lock up too now. Hello. <laughs> believe it, man. You better believe it, you know, but yeah, you know, the, you know how the game goes, you got to get the most out of it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a good time to be a Texas stranger. Nathaniel, I'd love to hear a bit more about the Lowe family story as it relates to baseball. Of course, your brother uh, with the Tampa Bay Rays each of the last two years. How did you all fall in love with the game? What introduced you to baseball? And then how much talk back and forth is there about the first time that you'll play against each other in the major leagues? Yeah, man. Uh, you know, baseball is just kind of the spring thing to do. We, we did it all. Uh, football, basketball which were obviously not my strong suit. He was a lot better athlete, uh, still probably is a better athlete than me. But, you know, spring, summer rolls around. You, you need something to do. And uh, my parents did a good job of putting a bat and a ball in our hands and, uh, you know, making sure that we didn't turn into pitchers. So, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. You know, we got a bunch of people that are already committed to come see us play. Uh, we missed him because he was on option last year. But, you know, June 9th, we've already, uh, we've already got the stage set in Tampa to hopefully – have a bunch of people come out and watch the Lowe's play Major League Baseball. How cool is that? All right, so I, Harold already asked you about the offseason additions, but I know you're early on in camp. You just got there yesterday, right? But what is the energy like in the clubhouse? Is there a type of renewed optimism? Uh, I would imagine so, yeah. it. Uh, I really haven't spent a lot of time in I. I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. I just got my blood work this morning. But, uh, yeah, guys are pretty excited. You know, it's, uh, it's a good time, like I said, to be a Texas Ranger, like regardless of where you're coming from or what kind of what kind of sign or trade or waiver claim it is, it's a good place to be. It's a good place to play Major League Baseball. And, you know, hopefully we're, uh, we're turning the tide here in the DFW. Okay, you can go a lot of ways with this question, with the rule changes. It could be – the pitch timer, it could be the bases, it could be the non-shift. I'm curious how you're preparing and 
Which one stood out the most when you started looking at the rule changes for you? And uh, I got to watch some of the college classic this weekend in Arlington. And um, that pitch timer is something, man. It's uh, it's going to be an adjustment for sure, you know, because when you're telling me that there's a chance that you can totally change count leverage without a pitch being thrown, that's uh, that's going to mess with a lot of the game right there. You know, uh, it's good that they say it's for pace. Um but it's definitely going to be a learning curve. You know, it's uh, it's just what the game's going to call for us to do this year. And hopefully in spring training, we can make the right adjustments and get on track and get ready to go. Have you guys put together a plan like, hey, we're going to have the clock working in BP so you can start to get a hold of that and get used to it? Or has that been implemented yet? Not that I know of, you know, not that I know. Of, but, you know, no shift. No shift is going to be good for good for the athlete. You know, it's going to be good for a make or break challenge with the glove on because either you can go in the hole and make the play or you can't, you know, and, and we'll find out early what we got to do. And the game's going to, the game's going to be able to show you where you're short, like it always does. So, uh, you know, the rule changes hopefully will benefit things as a whole, but it's definitely going to take a little adjustment period. Awesome. Yeah. Good that's... stuff, man. Thank you for the time. It's fantastic. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me on.